The same day the Paris Climate Agreement came into force, Trondheim's picturesque city centre was the host for the opening of the Norwegian CCS Research Centre, NCCS. The opening attracted international experts from research institutions and the industry. The centre was officially opened by the Norwegian Minister of Petroleum and Energy. Here it comes. NCCS is focused on two industry-driven deployment cases. The first is capture of CO2 from industrial sources in Norway and transporting it by ship for storage on the continental shelf. The second is capture of CO2 from sources in Europe and transporting it by pipelines for storage in the North Sea Basin. We know that the capacity for storing CO2 on the Norwegian continental shelf is uh, immense. And of course, this could represent a business opportunity uh, in the decades ahead for, uh, for the CCS uh, industry. We will fast-track CCS. Uh, we will be of great importance for the actual happening of CCS worldwide. Uh, so we need to talk together. In the center, we develop relations, uh, we develop uh, research infrastructure, uh, we develop tools, and we use this among the researchers. Uh, we let the industry uh, use it, and we also do research uh, together uh, with the industry. We see that uh, there are big challenges uh, ahead of us, and we highly recognize the initiative through this center because we strongly believe that uh, collaboration between the relevant uh, players in this area, academia, uh, the operator industry and the service industry, are important prerequisites to, uh, to go ahead. While the world spent eight years to get the Kyoto Climate Agreement into force, it took only one year for the Paris Agreement. Things are accelerating. Everyone realizes now that uh, CCS is required to meet the Paris goals, the goals that are set in Paris. So also governments who were not so supportive of CCS uh, the last few years realize they have to come with, uh, with policies, uh, active policies on CCS. In a way, the world doesn't realize how much it needs CCS to meet the Paris Agreement. And, and in many countries have struggled with getting these emissions down. At the present time, the world is 80% dependent on fossil fuels. You can't just switch that off overnight. It's a part of a transition, and that's why CCS is so important. And I hope that the world's politicians will start to get the message that we have to do everything. We have to have energy reduction, we have to have renewable energy, but we're going to have to have carbon capture and storage with fossil fuels as well. The role of this centre cannot be overestimated. It, it is important to get the knowledge and uh, I look forward to the five-year celebration and the ten-year celebration to get to know what has happened in the meantime. Today we have been doing a lot of celebration. We are in a hurry, so I really look forward to come back to my office to work with the partners in NCCS to really uh, develop the center and uh, develop the innovation platform for CCS that will make this uh, possible, yes. On a cold winter's day in Trondheim, it may be hard to envision the rising global temperature. Let's hope future generations can experience and enjoy crisp Arctic winters like we can. <laughs>